Hi, April showers bring May flowers, but the sun is shining. So you're probably wondering why I'm holding this umbrella. Well, because it reminds me of one of my favorite May plants. It's called the May apple, and today we're going to go find it and identify it. So let's get started. Here we've come across a nice little bunch of May apples, and they're called May apples because they will um, produce a fruit that is edible when uh, ripened. It's a round fruit. Um, if you can see right there, we see where we're fixing to have a bloom on this plant. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a nice uh, patch of um, May apples, and it's also called a uh, mandrake uh, plant, and that's because of its root. And uh, the root is used for medicinal purposes for, for some, by some Native Americans, and one of the way they use it is for treatment of warts. Now you've probably also guessed it has another common name, and it is called the umbrella plant. Yes, during the first spring rains, it starts popping up and opening it up and covering the wood floor, woodland floors with its little green umbrellas. And they're usually in large groupings like this. I find they're really easy to remember because of their distinctive leaves and the way they look like umbrellas. Let's, um, let's see if we can keep looking around and see if we can find one that is in bloom. I've come across a May apple. It's not ripe right now, but it's flowering and I wanted you to see it. It's a, it's a beautiful plant. The leaves, the roots are poisonous. Uh, the fruit will begin in about June. Hopefully it will be ri ripened by August and that's when you can eat uh, this plant. Uh, it has a tropical fruit uh, type flavor. It can be made into jellies and jams and pies. Uh, you do want to avoid the seeds. Uh, the fruit starts out green and hard and it's ripened when it's uh, yellow and soft. So this May apple is not ready yet, but maybe we'll come back in August and see if we have us a fruit and can get to it before the animals do. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the May apple and that the next time you're wandering around in the woods, you'll look for it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again real soon.